Okay, so the new Scream movie is coming out. And don't get me wrong, I understand that a lot of people are fans of Scream. But me personally, I hate the movies. I don't like any horror movies whatsoever. If you guys know me well enough and subscribe to the channel for a while, you guys would know that I am not a horror person. But like the title of this video says, yes, this ended up happening and this was the most weirdest thing ever. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba and welcome back to another insane story. So this story starts off basically last year. I remember it was 2022 and it was a year where I was still making content, but at the same time I was single. So obviously most of the time I was inside my room playing video games and telling crazy stories like this one And at the same time I was also bringing a lot of chicks over to the penthouse I lived at and basically doing the devil's tango all the time Now one thing I gotta say is that when I had an opportunity to meet up with girls and hang out with chicks I would always take it Why because well a lot of girls were attracted to me because of my sub count for some reason But at the same time I recognized a lot of girls from high school and seeing me now become a content creator kind of like made them like I guess I'll know turned on by who i was and what i became it's kind of weird because back in high school i'd always do the devil's tango and girls would always be like oh you're not getting anywhere from using girls like you're so bad like you're such a bad person and then you know four years later here i am making videos on them and basically blowing up it's pretty cool actually i don't know i love it and without you guys i wouldn't be in the position i'm in but anyways i remember basically one time there's a girl who dm'd me that was actually really far back on my snapchat list she was so far back and honestly i don't remember even even adding her but she ends up messaging me saying hey like Bubba right and I'm like yeah what's going on and then she said oh nothing you know same old just uh, going to college and stuff and the thing I found really odd is that she said same old as if I knew what she was doing with her life but then I ended up asking for her name because I literally named her on my snapchat girl number 12 because I would always like basically number the girls that I've already done and do the devil's tango with on my snapchat but I stopped doing it I mean I don't do it anymore that was just a high school thing and basically I remember she ended up messaging me her name and I ended up remembering Remembering her and she was actually a pretty attractive girl in my high school She was in the cheer team for like two years of high school and then ended up leaving because I don't know Apparently she was going through some dark lifestyle. I, I have no idea. Let's just say it was just something in depth But basically I remember she was emo in high school So automatically from there I thought it was a red flag and I wasn't gonna hit her up or not talk to her really But then she ended up messaging me saying hey like I was just curious like have you seen the new screen movie came out yet? And this was 2022 and in 2022 a screen movie did actually come out and me I don't know like I said earlier I wasn't a fan of horror movies so obviously I told her, uh, nah, I'm not really a scream like kind of person or like, you know, any sort of horror time perversion. And then she ended up saying, oh, like we should go watch it. Like, trust me, like you won't be scared. I automatically ended up telling her, nah, like that's not for me. Like, I'm sorry. It's just not my thing. And then she said, oh, come on. Like I'll literally pay for you. Please just come on. And since I usually took opportunities to hang out with girls, I was like, okay, well, I mean, I'm down, but like afterwards, like we chill back at my place, question mark. Basically me asking if she wants to do the devil's tango. Just in a really subtle way and of course right away she said oh yeah like i'm so down like yes let's do it please okay sure whatever so i remember that day i ended up getting my car and driving to go pick her up and then afterwards i ended up driving her straight to the theater but as i picked her up and was driving her towards the theater she acted really weird because right away when i first saw her she wasn't emo she was wearing like a pink like top and like a skirt like she went total girl girl mode like as if she was like a cheerleader again it was super weird so i started questioning her saying weren't you like emo back in high school and then she ended up telling me oh yeah it was just like a phase like don't worry about it like i'm not really into that dark horror stuff little did i know she was lying but you guys will figure it out just keep watching basically we ended up going to a theater and then from the theater we started watching the movie i remember we were watching scream and i'm gonna tell you guys right now i hate the scream movies it's always the dumbest thing like congratulations there's two guys wearing the mask blah 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 i don't know i really don't care for it but during the movie i literally remember this girl was kept holding my hand then hold, held my thigh it got to a point where i won't lie to you the movie got so boring in some of the talking parts since you know horror movies always have like these long dialogues for absolutely no reason but it got to the point where she literally ended up putting her hand down my pants and basically giving me an hj or a devil's grab i didn't know what to say i remember i was just kind of sitting there like okay sweet during scream love that and then right away when there was a jump stare i remember i basically ended up jumping kind of in my seat and like her hand got like hurt by my zipper i have no idea okay i don't want to explain it but it was something awkward all right and then i remember after a bit the movie ended up ending and it was the most dumbest thing i've ever seen because like i said earlier it was the dumbest thing i've ever seen basically and then afterwards i remember we ended up leaving the theater and this girl was on me like non-stop like she thought i enjoyed the movie and don't get me wrong i did lie to her saying oh yeah the movie was pretty good but i remember when we got to my car she ended up telling me wait so like where do you live now and i ended up showing her where i live so i ended up driving down back to my place we went up to the top floor of my place because i lived in a penthouse at the time and then i remember we were basically like looking around enjoying the view and stuff and then she ended up basically getting close to me and saying um i think i forgot something in your car can i go grab it what is what i said 
said. I thought she wanted me to drive her home. So I basically went downstairs, went down through the car, and afterwards I ended up, you know, basically going down. And I realized that she actually did forget something. It was her purse. So she ended up grabbing her purse and instantly went back towards the elevator, went up the elevator, and we went back to the penthouse. When we were there, I was like, why do you need your bag? Like, could have just left it in the car. And then she said, oh, like, I need it for, like, the thing. The thing is what I said. And then afterwards, I remember I found out, like, really awkward what she was talking about. So I was like, okay, whatever. And then one thing led to another. We ended up watching an older screen movie on my TV at home. We watched it for, like, two minutes. And then, yeah, I just did my unspoken riz. And basically, from there, we started making out on the couch. I ended up turning off the movie. And then me and her, we ended up going to the bedroom. Now, from there, we ended up doing the devil's tango. But before we actually did anything, no joke, this girl ended up going to my bathroom, telling me to wait, like, a couple minutes. Me, I ended up getting ready, you know, putting on the rubber, all that cool stuff. And then she comes out of the bathroom with a scream mask and a knife. And I'm like, at this point, I'm like, whoa, what the, what are you doing? What the? Like, I was freaking out. And then she's like, come here, papa. What? Dude, are you crazy? Like, I ended up freaking out, like, screaming. And then, no joke, out of nowhere, she ends up coming towards me closer and closer. And me, at this point, I'm like, nah, dude. Like, I'm not doing this. So, I end up running around my house naked. Like, butt naked as this girl's chasing me with a knife. Thinking that she was gonna murder me. And then, I wanna say, like, after a bit, she ended up taking off her mask saying, are you not gonna, like, role play? Like, seriously? Like, why you just keep running? When are we actually gonna get to doing it? What the? Bro, are you serious right now? First off, if this was a real horror movie, I should have just left that house but i didn't want to leave her alone with my tech because obviously i'm not leaving her alone with my pc my life's on that pc and two what in the world was this girl thinking role play i'm not doing role play with a scream mask on like i'm sorry what am i supposed to do nut to scream i can't even do that in the theater when he, she was giving me an hj bro Nah. at this point i was freaking out. i was like nah dude like I'm, I'm not doing this like i i can't i can't and basically i ended up telling her listen we can do it without the mask but like i'm not doing it with the mask on apparently she ended up sitting on my couch wearing nothing and basically being all upset saying i don't Understand? Like, I thought you were down. I thought you liked Scream. I like Scream, but I don't want a nut to Scream. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do the Devil's Creed. Do a Scream a mask. Like, seriously. Like, what do you want me to do? She ended up looking at me and saying, yeah, I guess it's kind of weird. Kind of? Are you dumb? Like, I don't know. I basically made fun of her at that point because I was like, nah, dude. Like, you're weird for that. And then one thing led to another. She ended up saying, okay, you know what? Like, I'm not really in the mood anymore. You're not in the mood? Nah, I'm not in the mood is what I told her. And then afterwards, I ended up driving her home. And basically from there, we did end up not talking anymore. I won't lie to you. It was the most weirdest thing ever, but I basically un unadded her from my Snapchat, and all I'm gonna say is, is that fall for more embarrassing stories, because you never know what's gonna happen next on this channel. Alright, peace out, guys.